Welcome to the journey. Today we're talking about how to use Facebook for your business. Let's jump in. Hey, I'm Neely, your GoDaddy guide for today. Today, we're talking about Facebook for your business. And for that, I have my expert, Emma. Hey, Justin, how what's are, up? How are you? Good. No surprise, we're gonna dive into Facebook today. The but I face. also <laughs> The Facebook. It is Facebook. your favorite, right? It is my favorite. No, well, I don't like to choose favorites. <laughs> so we're talking about uh, Facebook for your business. Uh, maybe I just have a personal page and I've decided maybe it's time to create a, a business page for my business, right? What are the kind of the first steps that I need to really think about? Well, you're already off to a great start. You want to go to a business page. And that's really important because then you get the ability to track metrics and analytics. So absolutely business page over personal page. And then from there, you want to make sure you set up your profile. Get that profile photo. Usually your logo works great, or maybe if it's your personal brand, use a great headshot of yourself, and then take that cover photo to really showcase your products or your services. Mm -hmm. And then from there, make sure all your information is up to date. And that is really important. Your hours, your website, your phone number. 100%. Yeah. And make sure that lines up with your Google and your Yelp listings too. Right. I went into a coffee shop recently. I was in Northern California. You drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> It's true. And the cashier was looking at me like, I don't know, like maybe she wanted to rush me. And I'm thinking, they're open for two more hours. What's the deal? <laughs> sure enough, they were closing in five minutes. I go, but your Facebook says. <laughs> and I wanted, I wanted to go into my spiel like this, but I saved it, got a quick coffee to go, fortunately. But that's the whole point. I left with a customer experience that wasn't as ideal. And then on to probably one of the largest most impactful components, content. Right, always preach quality over quantity. Yeah, so you definitely wanna make sure you vary your content. So mix it up, you know, you don't wanna become predictable. Okay. And you also don't wanna turn into just a business always talking about yourself, right? Oh, it becomes so salesy when it's so always about me, 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 me. me. Yeah. buy so, this, buy that. Yeah, sell, 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 rather you want to. Tell, tell, tell. Exactly. <laughs> uh, throw something out there that's entertaining. I mean, social media is escapism. Throw oh, yeah. in a good laugh, but also educate me. Okay. So I always tell my friends that I follow my dentist on Facebook, and they look at me like I'm crazy. What? <laughs> what? And it's because my dentist shares really educational tips and tricks, like how to whiten my teeth without spending hundreds of dollars. I saw also my yoga studio was just giving a friendly reminder to stretch, how to maintain the zen, which is really important in life. Absolutely. Also sharing testimonials that you've already received on yeah. Yelp and Google and turning it into a Facebook post. Right, repurpose that content. Take that review. Let's say it went on about your, um, your ice cream, you're okay. an ice cream shop, and the review goes on about how you have the best flavors, but the ultimate flavor is definitely Rocky Road. Absolutely. Yeah, it's the best. Hands down. So you have that <laughs> review that the customer went on about your Rocky Road ice cream, and then you use Canva or something, and in the background of that review, it's a picture of the Rocky Road on a nice ice cream cone. It really brings it to life. For those of you that don't know, Canva is a free website that has all sorts of templates and kits and graphics for literally all things that you could possibly create, like social media templates, yeah. Facebook headers, all that good stuff, and it's free. I use it pretty religiously. Also, right. video. So I'm a huge advocate of video. I love video. Just keep it on the shorter side, attention spans like under are short. two minutes or so, under three minutes? Yeah, definitely. I would Even a minute is good. And also doing behind the scenes footage. That's one of my favorite things about yes. following local businesses. It's like, well, I wanna know how this all comes together. Yeah. And showcase your staff. And also repurpose anything your customers take, user generated content. And I think what gets a lot of people hung up on creating video is maybe they don't have a production set like we do, right? And that's okay. <laughs> we, our smartphones are pretty darn good, yeah, right? Yeah, they're pretty smart. Take a video with your phone and even, it doesn't have to be the best quality. Go behind the scenes. People like that story. They like to see the other side of things and it really helps them relate to who you are as a business owner. You're not yeah. just some faceless company. So next up we have 
these groups. Can you tell us a little bit about what the, the Facebook groups are and how I can potentially leverage it as a business owner? Yeah, so definitely encourage you to pay attention to other like-minded businesses, but also groups to piggyback off the engagement you already have. I will say content is where you want to spend most of your time, mm -hmm. but groups can be an advantage to getting you your business more exposure for sure. So next up we have advertising. What do we do with the, the paid advertising? Yeah, aspect? so it's no secret. Um, Facebook has gone on record to say organic reach is on <laughs> the decline. Don't give up on it. Organic content is still alive and well and breathing. Um, but I think Facebook posts that you boost has a lot of potential and you can reach a targeted audience, which is one of my favorite things about it. You can start off with like five bucks and you can get in front of a specific demographic, age group, zip codes, Mm -hmm. And that way, you know, your post is going to reach the right people. And with, I would kind of look at the, the posts that maybe have done the best and then boost those and get those that reach out. That's a really good point. Thank you for bringing that up. It's usually, <laughs> wait, you're the expert. <laughs> I dabble. So with Facebook, it's, you want to go ahead and let the post that you're doing hang out organically for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let it chill. See how it does. Garner some reach. Now, once it garners some reach, then boost it. Mm -hmm. That's what we found to work best. While a lot of people I speak to think there's no way to track this to ROI, that's a total myth. You can actually go ahead and look at, it's called your insights tab, and it breaks down everything. You know what your audience is liking, mm -hmm. engaging with. Are they clicking on the links? what time of day they're doing this. And when you look at all of that and really understand it, the insights, mm. you can truly be informed about where do I go from here, right? Mm -hmm. Like where do I go from here when it comes to which days work best to post? What time of day works best? Uh, does my audience prefer the entertaining posts more than the educational? And on which days? And from there, you can truly come up with a great strategy. What happens if I'm not getting maybe the engagement that I want? Are there any like like just great pro tips or boosts that I can <gasps> do to help me just skyrocket yes. and get in front of those people? Contest. Okay. How those so? Are, so recently I saw this cafe that had a special music guest coming in and they encouraged their audience on the Facebook post, which is like promoting the okay. music, yeah. comment below and tag a friend. And then they're gonna oh. do a random drawing and it's like two free tickets to the show. That quick little tag a friend now becomes just free advertisement for you and it's cost you a couple tickets or maybe a free drink or a free exactly. burger, or whatever you do. You could also ask a question, what is your go-to order mm -hmm. when you come into our restaurant? Or what's your favorite thing on the menu and your favorite person to dine with? And so it's your customers spreading word of mouth about what's great to eat. Uh, so on Twitter and Instagram, hashtags are super relevant, but I don't always see it as often on Facebook. Are they a thing? Absolutely. I mean, here's the thing. When it comes to using hashtags, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, or if you're just posting, either way, you gotta monitor it because it's going to be different for each business. It doesn't hurt to use them, just be mindful and mm. use relevant hashtags. Perfect, and probably only one or two. Don't, don't go few. overboard. Yeah, you don't need to go overboard. This has been The Journey. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment below. Subscribe to know when our next videos are coming at you. And we are signing off.